bus stop right now. There's no bus times because the buses just turn up whenever, whenever they turn up basically. We're waiting for the blue bus. We're going to be going to Bridgetown, walking out down through the town and then going to the harbour. And hopefully we're going to check out the wrong place in a bit. And that's the bus stop sign up there. Very cool bus stop sign. This is the main bus stop then? Right, this is the main. Uh, the other one up there is the biggest one, right? Okay. But this is one for. Uh, it's a bus terminal too. You know? Okay, okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a bus so terminal. So we can get the bus this back. Bus from terminal here. There, no, the bus terminal is for the north part of the island. Yeah. But the other one is for the south part of the island. Yeah. On the other side of this harbor behind me, which you can't see right now because it's around the bend, we will be uh, going to one of the rum distilleries, do some rum tasting. Hopefully you don't know, get too drunk because it's quite hot and it'll probably be the middle of the day by the time we're finished. And have a good time. So we just walked a crazy amount of time to get to this Mount Gay place. We're in the wrong direction, went down some rural areas, got off some beer by some guys chilling out on their front porch. We didn't take it though, so that was alright. Just met the door guy here, really cool guy. He's like, I'll show you how to get home for two dollars. Awesome. So that's, that's just what we need because it's quite far to get back. And I don't know about walking all the way back. This is the front entrance, so we're gonna head in now. The barrel wall. Visitor center. Here we My name is Tina and I will be your host for your experience here. The Plumia Prince will tell you guys a story. For us, that story begins in the year 1703, right here in Barbados. In the beginning, we had sugar production. As a result of that production, we had ourselves an unwanted, unneeded byproduct. That product would have been molasses. So you guys can feel free at this point to come on up and taste yourself some pure... <laughs> Her face. <laughs> the pure Barbadian molasses is not that bad. Here, I'll go first. The proof to you is actually pretty. Um. <laughs> Don't make me do it! Okay. <laughs> so yummy. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Delicious. Mm -hmm. Delicious. <clears throat> I just want the sugar from the sugar cane. But here we are with all this stuff, we don't know what to do with it. So they started to dump it in the ocean by the barrels full. But it was discovered accidentally that by fermentment it could be turned into rum. It became very valuable very quickly. Early it started to make name black gold. Now right over here we have our D. This is Malgate's proof. 
This is our evidence that we are indeed the world's first and oldest commercial rum distillery. This bad boy here is our Troy Centennial Selection. This is a blend of rums, a blend of rums 30 and 34 years old. We brought this one out in the year 2003 to celebrate our 300th year anniversary. 3,000 of these bottles were made. And right now you are looking at the very last one. Within one week of hitting the market, these went poof. And these were sold for 300 US dollars. In the earlier days, the journey here to Barbados was considered to be a very hard one. So you had to prove you actually didn't make the journey. The only way to prove this was taking my home a barrel of Barbadian rum. And that rum would have been rich rum, guys. <laughs> Mount Gay yeah. Rum, there we go. We sell kilo size you see today by sponsoring over 150 regattas per year. A regatta is a fancy word for a boat race. What we do now is if you do win your race, you receive your skipper's weight in rum. So if you're going to sail, ladies and gentlemen, get yourself a very big guy because what that means is more rum for all of us. Right here we have the much coveted red caps. These caps are a very big deal in the sailing community. They're only one by your participation in a monkey sponsor regatta. How it usually works is everyone receives one hat, but the crew who wins, they all receive a hat for themselves. If you want those dogs up to the light, put them up. You will notice this light amber color. Now that should tell you that this is a medium body rum. If you pass this one on your nose, you may have to do it at least twice to get past the initial burst of alcohol. Some more drinking done. Okay. We're gonna be doing this one here next. That is your charred gas, which will be this one for you. That one's dangerous. That's too easy to drink. It's got a sour side taste. Yeah, sour. sour it's got a little citrus like flavor to it. Mm -hmm. That one is nice. I like that one. And all what you do now is mix those two together. Oh okay. really? A whole different taste. It's just said I literally ran out the hotel room. I saw the clouds coming over. I knew it was gonna start raining, but I ran out anyway to get the sunset because I was like, today's the day I'm gonna get the sunset, no matter what the weather. It's quite refreshing. For me, it's a bit too cold though, but for most people, it's refreshing. As you can see, there's still people in the ocean right now, having a nice swim, relaxing time, enjoying the water whilst the water's falling on their head. I have to say that it is the best way to go in the ocean when it's raining it's absolutely amazing the sky is looking beautiful right now you see it's going dark it's light over there it's looking pretty awesome right now just want to show you the sunset hope you enjoy rainy sunset in Barbados even that's beautiful If you're away from home and you're missing that good old western style pretend version of a you know proper southern food you got kfc beautiful and some advertising for coca-cola because you can never be too far from a kfc <laughs> <laughs> 